today we're looking at the UNVR N stand from Ubiquiti and it is for me their best home solution yet. First off, it has great value, so the UNVR N stand starts at $199 and I say start because it's also available in a kit that looks just like this. So you have the UNVR N stand plus 4G5 turret ultra inside as well as a one terabyte hard drive and this goes for $6.99 but what are you actually getting with the UNVR Instant? This is what we're looking at. All right, let's get to it. So looking at the hardware build, you have an LCM to display the status on the front of the device and when you look at the back, you have six PoE ports, you have one uplink port, you have a viewport for live monitoring, you can also power it up, you have your power and also the reset button if you need to factory default your device. And while it has six PoE ports, keep in mind that you can have up to 15 HD cameras and six 4K cameras on this device. And as far as storage goes, we have a one terabyte HD inside, but you can also have a 24 terabyte. So making sure you're never missing any storage space for your security. And to insert your hard drive, it's pretty simple. So on the back itself, you have your lock right here. You just need to unclip it and it will lift like so, so similar to a bridge. Then you will take your hard drive and all you need to do is actually clip it in. So you can see here you have your entry and same thing on your NVR. So you put your hard drive in and you just slide it up and so it will lock itself. So you see right here, so you push, it will clip and then it's secured and you can drop the lock so it will make sure that the HDD stays in place right here. A little shake, it's safe. Now you can put the back plate on it to make sure there is no residue or anything that goes on. You can also use this back plate for mounting purposes if you want to put your NVR on a wall. And now that your R drive is installed inside your UNVR instant, you power it up and then you will be able to adapt it inside your Unify space. Let's see how that works. So pretty simple, if it's the first time you do this, all you need to do when you connect the power is wait a little bit. You will see on the LCM screen a little display that is showing that the NVR is connecting. When it's done connecting, it will prompt you to download the Unify application. And when you have the application, well, from there, you just need to adopt the device. So when you will go on the application, you will have this little prompt that shows the device. You click on it, it will do the setup and it will send you to Unify Protect where you will have access to your new device and where you will also be able to connect some cameras on it. And once you adopted your device, so you have access to the Unify interface. Now, what I recommend always is go to the settings on the bottom left, you click on control plane and you look if you have any update. If you are a first time Unify user, we actually made a video on everything there is to know about Unify Protect, so you should check this video out. But now looking at the UNVR instant, so we'll go back at our device and I'm sure you notice we have multiple devices from actually three different brands and this is another reason why it is such great value because if you have other cameras maybe that are using micro SD card and you want some more redundancy you can have an NVR like this but it's not just about the redundancy you have access to the protect interface so you have this awesome user experience this great and easy to use interface you can use with all your cameras if they are on viv compatible so now here on the table we have our ajax camera we have installed outside the spico camera and we have the g5 turret ultra so if we look at them so i'll aim them towards me this is what it will look like. So I click on the Ajax camera and I can go on the live view and you see me right here. So a live display of this, same thing with our G5 Ultra. So same kind of view. And similarly, we have the speaker that is looking outside. So if I click on there, 
you can see it's monitoring the entryway. Now, keep in mind that with the UNVR instance, you can add an AI key and also an AI part if you want to enhance your cameras. But what you have as settings for the NVR itself when you click on it, what you can do inside the settings is pretty easy. So here I can manage my parts. So if I want to disable them, for example, and I can also do a power cycle. So if I need to reset the part, if there is some trouble with my cameras or a device, it is something I can do right here. Uh, I can do the same thing with my uplink part. I have my PoE power availability and I have my different connected device. Now, probably you saw it when I went in the control plane. You can also have your access control on this device. It is not yet stated in their uh, capacity calculator how much door can be added to the UNVR instant. But again, <laughs> more is always better. So again, great, great value on that end. If I go on the statistics, I can see the CPU utilization. I can see the memory usage uh, on a daily period, on a week or monthly period. And inside the setting itself, well, I can configure a multi-view. So right now, if I click here on my dashboard, I see my different cameras that are connected to the different view it is showing. And if I go back on the device, I can create new multi-view. So here I can drag and drop my cameras and I can also select what kind of view I want. So if I want a four camera view or maybe a two camera view in that case. So if I select my G5 turret ultra and I will take the outside camera, drag it in, then I can give it a name so I can do people systems. I click on save and it gives me this new view and I can navigate to the different views at the bottom right here. So I can jump to only one camera. I can see all three different cameras and I can go back to my people system camera. That will be exactly the same thing if you connect it with the viewport. So to a monitor, which can really help to monitor a space. So instead of going through your phone on an, or on the web application, you can just leave up all the different camera views. And then you can go inside of playback and actually monitor everything that happened before. So if you're on the fence on trying Unifier or if you're wondering what kind of NVR you should get for your own, well, with this solution, you get exactly what you need. This was on my wish list and I'm really glad they released this one. So I might actually keep it for myself. All right, guys, I'm Jeremy from People Systems. See you on the next one.